Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will walk you through how you can dynamically update prices of your Shopify store products. So I have I have installed these packages in Node.js, Shopify API Node and .env package. And I have set up the environment like I have given the shop name, API key and password of my store. So this is my store and I have 20 products. So let's change the price based on the inventory. So let's go back to the board and we will write a new function, a sing function and we name it adjust prices based on inventory okay then we will have a try and catch block and if we have any error we will log that error updating the product and where we console the error in try block we will use the function of Shopify API node that will that function will return all the products so there is Shopify dot product dot list this is the function which will grab all the products of our store. So let's save that in uh, in a variable. On products and type await here. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to loop through all the products. So I will type for product of products. And we need to type let here let product of products and let's try to log the title of this product product dot title and let's run in this function and just And we're going to type node app.js. As you can see, we grab all the products titles. So our code is working. So let's remove this. Now we are going to load through, load through all the variants. For the variants, we need another loop. So I'll type for let variant of product dot variants and let's have a new variable let new price if we need a condition here if variant dot inventory item right inventory item quantity less than equal to 5 if if the product inventory less than 5 we are going to add a new price and then new price will be pass load the variant dot price multiply point one point ten percent that will add ten percent in the actual price increase price ten percent 
Alice if Alice if the variant dot inventory quantity greater than twenty then new price will be passed sort variant dot price multiplied by zero point nine zero. That will decrease the price ten percent. Decrease price ten percent. Alice, continue, we will not do anything. Okay, next, we need to update the price. So, for updating the variant price, we need a function Shopify dot product variant dot update and here we are going to pass the variant id variant dot id and then we will pass the price and the price would be new types and let's put that into a variable const updated variant and also add await here Next, we are going to console log so we can see the new prices. Console.log and template string updated. We'll grab product dot title as well as variant price is updated from. Variant dot price true variant dot with a new <coughs> price dot to fixed. So what it will do, it will look through all the products and check the variants. And after that, we will check the variant quantity. If the quantity is less than five, less than equal to five, we are going to increase the price of the of that variant ten percent. If we have uh, inventory more than twenty, then we are going to decrease the price. Else, we will not do anything. Okay, so. Let's console, uh, let's run this file again. As you can see, the prices are being updated for every variant. So let's see the last one. Uh, the previous price was uh, 40 and the new price is 45. Let's copy this product title and go over here. And as you can see, the new price is 45 now. The previous price was 40.90. Uh, and let me check the Quantity. The quantity is one. That's that's why the price is increased. So let's try to change the quantity to let's say twenty-five and go back here and run the function again. And 
and now price should decrease 10 percent so as you can see the price was 45 and now it is 40.58 uh, and if i reload the page you can see the price is change so this is how you can uh, dynamically change prices based on the inventory you have thank you